Welcome to the Friday, August 28th, 2015 edition of Erner Barry's Market Video, sponsored by Erner Barry's Prospector. In today's video, Starkist has settled a class action lawsuit. Then later, we look at declining overall cattle imports to the U.S. But first, here with this week's retail analysis is your host, Jamie Chadwick. September may be a much welcome month for the protein industry as it often breathes new life into the retail marketplace following a rather slow period during the late summer. From Labor Day maxing out promotions for all things grilling to cooler temperatures welcoming back comfort foods and baking. Of course, we can't forget the start of the NFL season lending support to the protein complex as it promotes buying occasions throughout the fall. September is also National Chicken Month, leading to a potential uptick in promotional efforts for what is already a consumer favorite in 2015. For the complete outlook for September, subscribers should click on the Retail Features link in Comtel. In other news, Starkist has settled a class action lawsuit. Here is SeafoodNews.com staff writer Michael Ramsing with the story. Starkist will pay eligible customers $25 in cash or $50 worth of tuna as part of an agreement to settle a class action lawsuit. The suit claims Starkist underfilled its 5-ounce tuna cans by a few tenths of an ounce. Starkist admitted no wrongdoing in making the deal. Customers in the U.S. who purchased chunk light or solid white tuna products in water or oil between February 19th of 2009 and October 31st of last year are eligible to file a claim. Read more about the Starkist lawsuit at SeafoodNews.com and get more industry news and market analysis by logging into the Seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks Mike. Finishing up today's video is account manager Adam Sharkey reviewing the latest cattle import data from the USDA. Total year-to-date cattle imports from Canada and Mexico are down 4.2 percent versus 2014 numbers with the combined total being brought down due to a notable decrease in Canadian cattle coming into the U.S. this year. Cattle brought in from Mexico are currently exceeding last year's volumes at 116.3 percent. However, live cattle imports from Canada are only 77.3 percent of year-ago levels. The strong U.S. dollar, along with high prices being paid for feeder cattle in the United States, is attracting Mexican cattle producers to sell their cattle to U.S. feedlots. Canada, on the other hand, has also experienced a tightening of cattle supplies in 2015, resulting in a decrease in available cattle for export. For the complete breakdown of cattle imports from Mexico and Canada, subscribers can click on the news link under the red meat tab in Comtel. Thanks, Adam. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customized searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.